Good morning, everybody. It's Renee from Tailspin Farm, and I am hopping on today. Um, I am actually putting together um, rabbit cages this morning, which are back here. I am in our basement. It is the best place for me to do this right now. It is cold, cold, cold out today. Um, and I didn't want to have to wear mittens or anything to put this together. So, um, I'm, I'm not going, I don't think I'm going to film the whole thing. Um, I am not a fan of watching, I guess it depends on what the, what the video is, but I'm not a fan of watching the fast motion, motion, um, put together stuff or do stuff. Uh, I sometimes like watching cleaning videos that they speed up because it looks like it's accomplished. But, uh, today I am going to show you what I got and then I may film um, pieces and parts as I put them together and put it all together at the end video. So you will see bits and pieces, I think, but you won't see me do the whole entire thing. Um, hello, Willow. Move out of the way. So I ordered, um, so I have not had new uh, rabbit cages um, I raise Angor rabbits for those of you who are new here and I have raised them for I think it's 17 years now I've been raising Angor rabbits. I have I got my first two for my husband for Christmas um, and that kind of started it. I have raised up to oh I think we had over 30 at one time. Um, I am down to 11 right now and I'm hoping to change that coming up here soon. We'll see. And that'll depend on space and things like that. But I did want to get a couple of new cages. Um, I actually ordered a tower, so it's three. And I have two new rabbits this fall that I got. And one is a pretty good size rabbit. Uh, he is a French Angora. And um, the, the cage he's in right now, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, it's one of my older ones, and I wanted to get him a better cage and more space and uh, just get things, um, get because of the tower, I can take three of my cages that aren't in towers right now and downsize on space, so that'll make a difference. I feel like my camera is tilted here. It might be. I will fix that before I do the next shot, but... Um, so I ordered through Bass Equipment. I have never used them before. I'm trying to remember. Um, the last time I ordered cages has probably been close to 10 years ago. And I believe they were, um, I think the company is like Clubberance. It has like a TZ at the end. And I think they're out of, I want to say Pennsylvania, but that might not be right. Um, I've ordered from them before. I like their cages, but I thought I'd try Bass this time. Um, Everyone seems to be a fan of them. And uh, like I said, I got the tower. Um, these are going to be the big ones. These are 36 by 36 by 18, I believe. Um, and I just ordered offline. They did send me a catalog uh, with this. Um, these came on Saturday. And they came in, again, I got three of them, and they came in two separate boxes. And I talked to the FedEx guy, and he said, well, I'm supposed to have three boxes for you, but I only have two. And I said, okay. And he said, you know, it might be on a different truck, and it'll come tomorrow, which was yesterday. Um, and it never showed up. And so I did pull out um, these, the cage wires, were all in one. And I pulled them out, and I thought each box was going to be... Um, a cage with uh, the stuff I needed to go with it, with the, the bottoms. And I pulled it out and it was just the cage wire. And I'm like, oh, so I'm missing something here. Um, I didn't bother opening the second box because they're both the same size. And I thought, well, one is one cage and one is the other. And then the third one that was missing is going to be my third cage with all of its stuff in it. Well, this morning I thought, well, maybe I better check that second box just to see what's in there. And sure enough, my drop pans were in there. So I have three drop pans. Um, and then also the tower pieces and parts that go together. 
Uh, this one is on wheels, so it comes with wheels to put on. It did come with, um, I think these are the hooks, the clips. I also have another bag of clips because I used to make my own cages. And it came with the J-clip um, pliers. I had a set of pliers. I can't remember. And actually, I think I can tell now that these are broke because I don't have, they would still work. I don't have the... Uh, the spring in it. This one does have the spring. So um, I think I bought, I can't remember if I added these on or if it came, I think I added these on because I wasn't sure if I still had mine. Sure enough, I did. Um, so these came in two boxes. I do have an issue with the drop pans. Um, I have a message into Bass Equipment this morning checking to make sure that I was not, I'll find out here once I get these put together, to make sure that there wasn't a third box of something coming. Um, but I also had two drop pans. I ordered the metal ones. Um, the plastic ones were way, way back ordered. And I didn't want to wait until after the first of the year. I wanted to get these now. So I went ahead with the metal drop pans and two of them are bent. One of them is bent pretty good. Um, I think it's still it'll still be usable but you know you paid for something brand new and so I sent pictures this morning and we'll see what they say um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started putting the cages together these come in pieces um, and then the door pieces are all ready to go with the door flaps you just have to make sure you get them these are down here this one right here and it has the door hinge right here you have to make sure you get that the right way um, but it's usually pretty simple the clips just clip around you put everything together and they kind of clamp around um, it does come with simple instructions of course you know I don't like to read instructions there are pictures which are, which are always helpful for me but they're pretty basic um, I am looking forward to seeing how their tower system works because the ones that I've had previously, I think I got them from TSC. So they were pretty, you know, they're the, the generic rabbit cages you can get at TSC, but the tower legs and things on those aren't always the best made. And these seem to be pretty, um, pretty strong and well put together. And so we will see how easy that is to put together uh, also. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, it is Thanksgiving week and I have 20 some people coming to my house this week. So I need to finish the, 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 this up and get it done um, today. It's Monday so I can get it out there and get the rabbits moved into it. Um, and hopefully... This will be done not too long. I know it's going to take me a little bit because each cage has to be put together individually um, from the panels. But I'll give you a time frame um, on the end of the video. And again, I might pop some clips in here of um, just how, how far I get today and, and how long it takes me. So stay tuned and I will be back shortly. Okay guys, it is about 30 minutes later, um, so half an hour I was able to get a cage put together. Really simple. Um, the J-clips are a J-clip because they look like a J. The J-clip pliers, I've just been setting it in here and then going um, where I want one and you just squeeze. It's as easy as that. I haven't completely put all the J-clips on that I want. I'm holding the sides off because I need to slide. Um, let's see. These are the, the tower pieces and they need to slide onto the cage on the sides. And I don't want any of the clips to be in the way of that. So I'm gonna wait. So I should be able to get the cages put together here in the next hour and uh, then get the wheels on and the, the tower put together. Um, so I'm looking at maybe uh, two to two and a half hours at the most to put all of these together. Um, really simple. Um, these are, again, these are 36 by 36 by 
This might be 24. I have to look back at my receipt. Oh, my, these, I'm sorry, these are 36 by 30s. Um, and I think the height might be 18 or 24. So these are, I, I could have gotten um, one size up, I think, from this. I'll have to look in the catalog. So this is going to be a good size for my Angora um, rabbit, um, even my big ones. These are a nice size. So I'm going to finish putting together the cages. Um, I might do a short clip of speeding through showing you how I put it together. But otherwise, uh, I will be back when I have them all put together and let you see what I have. Okay guys, I am back. I have got three full cages done. Um, they all took me less than a half an hour to get put together. Um, again, I didn't attach all of the clips. I want to put um, the tower pieces on first and these slide up underneath. And if you have a clip there, they do not slide up. So I have some to finish off once I get these on. And I am debating right now because I was going to put the full tower together down here and then take it out. But I don't think these are going to fit through our door. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do, um, I'll measure first. But I think I'm going to have to put this together all in the garage. So uh, that's my next step. Um, and I will... I did not do any footage of the J clips going on because again, it's really simple. This tool is awesome um, and it makes it really easy. So essentially you just pick spots along the way. Uh, I'm again gonna put more on, but um, I did not film that. So I will leave it at this and then when I hop back on, everything should be together. Okay guys, I have two put together so far, totally. Um, the one I already took out to the garage and put the bunny in it. Um, that one has the wheels on it. This one's going to go on top of that. Um, it was a good thing that I did not put them together in the tower because they wouldn't have fit out my door. Uh, as it is, I had to, we have a, out this door is our garage and we have a stairs going up to the garage right here from our basement. So I had to get my son to help me carry it out and the tower would have never fit. Not a big deal. Um, I just have one more to go. And um, then I'll get the tower together. They say, as long as you're not moving it, you don't need bolts. If I understood the directions right, yes, I did read the instructions. Um, these are pretty sturdy. These are the sturdiest rabbit cages I've ever had, I think. And so I'll get it put together and then I'll finish off the video. Okay guys, we are out in the garage where my rabbits are. And these are all together. Um, they are really tall. I'm gonna need a little step stool. I don't know what that was. Um, I'm gonna need a step stool to make sure to check on him. He's one of my oldest rabbits I have. Um, that's Peter and he's he's getting old <laughs> um, he's just kind of living out his days here I have to get some hay in here for them they've got their food and water I also have to get um, oh, something for them to sit on but um, they seem to be living the life this is my big new one this is why I needed some of these bigger ones because he is huge uh, just a couple tips when you're putting the sides on. So these are the sidebars. They do not, I went looking for bolts because I'm thinking these can't just sit like this without bolts in here. Um, but they really do. The bolt is supposed to go right here. But once you get these together, and it takes two people. I did the first two by myself and once I got up to the top one, I had to get my husband to help me um, get these even so they all slid in together. Make sure when you put these on for this, um, this is the drop pan here, but this is the slide thing that holds the drop pan. This has notches in it and it has to fit. So these have to go at the very edge of 
the cages. That was the only thing um, that I forgot about, that these do have notches. They're in a specific spot, so they have to go right here. So these have to be all the way out to the edge. But otherwise, these are uh, beautiful cages. The bunnies are very happy. And um, yeah, I highly, highly recommend these. I may get another tower here um, if I decide to breed. I have a couple. He's, he's new and he's new um, that I can breed. So uh, <laughs> he's peeking at me. Poor Peter. <clears throat> um, so that is it. They are together and they look fantastic. Thanks for joining me today. Um, you can follow me. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Tailspin Farm. And uh, if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and hit those like buttons. That helps me with um, just figuring out what everyone likes on here. All right, guys, have a great day. Thanks.